I don't know all the science and rules and regulations about it, but apparently chrome dipping wheels in Georgia is illegal. I don't know why. I don't know what happens if you do it and it's banned in some places. I don't know all, you know, I could, I could be wrong, but we're going to try something else. We're going to try a nice alternative and that's powder coat. So, um, I got some wheels, <laughs> got some spare wheels for the drift car. I actually got them super cheap. They were 300 bucks. Um, they're Anki RPF ones and 18s. Um, remember I drifted Izzy's E36 at an event and he had 18s on the rear and I saw that 18s seemed to work pretty well on the rear. So I figured for spares, you know, two, I'll try 18. So I got those in 18s and um, they're pretty much brand new. I think it's like one bend on it. But like I said, they were posted for 350 on Facebook Marketplace. I asked 300, we met at 320. So 320, pretty much brand new in the box um, RPF1. So I'll pull them down and let you see them. But they are stock right now and I like Hot Boy stuff and I wanna see what Chrome Powder Coat looks like. So that's today's video. Like I said, these are my RPF ones, practically brand new. I think they were pretty much test fitted and the guy didn't want them. They were on a 240. And I think there's, like I said, there's one small bend right here, which it's a drift car. It's not that big of a deal to me. I don't even think it's gonna affect balance or anything, but look at the back, brand new. This thing is brand new. It's never been driven on. Never had a tire mounted to it. Probably just dropped pulling that out of the box or something, but yeah. 300 bucks for these bet yeah so i'm on my way to ashton's shop um, my buddy ashton he just started a powder coating business not too long ago and i told him i want to try chrome so um he got chrome powder coat already ready for me so let's bring it there get them stripped and then powder coated and see what the results are i think it'll look good right maybe we'll see <laughs> Yeah, so um, I actually filmed that intro back in October of last year. <laughs> um, I kind of forgot about the wheels. So I tried to film two videos at one time. Remember when we went to Aston's shop for uh, shop hangs where we did a bunch of, you know, hanging out and burnouts and drifts and stuff. <laughs> had a blast and um, I tried to film a powder coating video during that and he started stripping them and then uh, basically we got distracted and I said uh, it's too much going on today I'll just come back tomorrow and tomorrow is five months later so it's tomorrow so now we're going to the shop and actually getting them done so they're stripped I told him just wait till I get there and then that way we can powder coat them and stuff and see what they look like before and after and all that so um, yeah so we're on the way to the shop now Going on. All right, let's try this again. Oh, only only five minutes, five months late. <laughs> yeah, it took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stripped, ready to go. Sure. So this is Ashton, big Ashton, big beard, mm -hmm. and uh, you have powder coating shop. Um, this is a course. Is this thing run. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> well anyways it does a bunch of powder coating for uh, wheels and what you got over here today you got some suspension some springs springs fissures air cleaners valve covers the usual stuff yeah the usual stuff and then you also do engraving yep we got the laser engraver uh doing cerakote now too so oh yeah it's perfect so turbos exhaust whatever you want all right. Got you covered. Well, come to the flower shop. That's right. <laughs> All right. And while he's getting those wheels ready, here's some of the other projects they work on. He shares this shop with a buddy named Tommy. And they built some cool stuff, too. This was definitely not here last time I was here. It's kind of cool. And there's a famous car over here. Not that one, because that's not even a full car. But you guys might know this car from the internet. This is the Odd Rod Machine. Let me turn the lights on so we can really get a good look at it. Oh, come on in a second. <laughs> but this thing is a Mazda Miata, believe it or not. And it's 
uh, has a LS. I don't know what LS, but I don't know. It's just cool. It just has a bunch of every little detail in this car is crazy. Like every like down to like every bolt is crazy. He does these clear valve covers that uh, you know he makes them over here too. So you can you can order valve covers through him. And you know they're see-through, so you can see the valves and all that stuff, and all that stuff moves while it's running, and it's, it just looks really cool. So, but yeah, every little panel, everything in here is just insane. So, yeah, it might not be an LS. Sorry, I don't know, because that definitely says Ford Racing. I could be wrong. I'll ask, but it's wild. Whatever it is, it's wild. Everything is wild. Let me try to light to get. There we go. We got some light now. Big spoiler on there. Clear through. Um, rear subframe diff axle thing. You can see everything back here. Everything is over here. Just, just insane. It's just an insane, crazy, crazy build. And he drives the shit out of it. It's not a show car. <laughs> he beats the piss out of it, too. <laughs> this is the odd rod machine. Look at these massive, massive machinery over here. stuff is so crazy so here's him making a set right here of the new valve covers as he lines them up and then cuts out whatever he needs to I'm not sure what order he did that is a huge drill bit but yeah it's cool oh there we go found gold and then when he finishes making them Ashton can powder coat them. So it can be any color. It's kind of cool. Alright, wheels are hung up. He's about to load up the gun. So this is the nice before. Of course, it comes with like a factory silver anyway. So it just looks like a rundown strip silver. But this thing should be shiny chrome when we finish. So excited to see it. Is this one just like a single stage? So, I mean, really the, the chrome is supposed to just be a base coat for like transparent colors and stuff. Yeah. So it's not the most durable. It gets faded by the UV sunlight and stuff. But for a drift car on some spares, it'll last for a while. And we'll just do it as a single stage. You can clear it to make it last a little longer, but the second you clear it, it turns into just like a shiny silver. It Perfect. takes all the the reflective finish out of it so it just looks silver again yeah and so should have just left it up yeah <laughs> <laughs> could have just left it alone <laughs> so hopefully somebody will come out with a good chrome eventually that's actually durable but for right now this is what we got all right are powdered <laughs> so how's the process work what like what makes the powder even stick to the wheels so everything hanging in the booth is grounded and the gun positively charges the powder as it leaves 
So it's looking for a ground. Ah, so it's... So it, it's clinging to the metal because it's the nearest ground it's finding. I see. So it sticks on there, and then we put it in the oven to cure it. It basically melts, melts it into a yeah. uniform coat. Yeah, because I can still see some powder just kind oh, of yeah. floating around. Yeah, it goes all over the place, yeah. <laughs> it's messy. That's pretty cool. All right. So we'll put them in the oven for about 18 minutes. When they come out, you should be able to see yourself in them. Nice. Hopefully. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Just a nice little 430 degrees right now. <laughs> All right, and see you guys in 18 minutes. It's time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> shiny. <laughs> that is sick. Oh, he's gonna look good on the drill car. Ooh, they hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long do they typically cool? I mean, they're not super thick, so maybe like 30 minutes they'll be cool enough to really handle. Gotcha. And they've been in, in there at 400-ish degrees for the last 20 minutes. So yeah. Got some heat soaked in. So after they cool, you don't do anything? That's nope. it? You're done? These are done. You nope. can put tires on the knife if you want to. Damn. That is sick. That is super sick. So as far as chroming, it's illegal or not illegal? So from what I understand, it's illegal to open a new chrome plating shop, but there were old shops grandfathered in when Georgia or EPA, whatever the laws are. Mm -hmm. So there are still some shops in Georgia that chrome plate, but when I called them earlier this week, it was $600 a wheel. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> powder coats perfectly fine yeah Jesus alright thank you Ashton for finishing the wheels I'm um, sorry for the wait <laughs> gave him a little bit extra for uh, rental storage <laughs> but um, unfortunately it's a super gloomy rainy day today so there's no sunlight and uh, so you're really not gonna see how bright and shiny it is, but uh, I'll put them up next to the car to see what they look like. I can't mount them yet. Uh, first of all, they don't have tires anyways, but also they're five by one fourteen, so I have to get the adapters on there. And to put the adapters on there, I need the over fenders on there because the adapter's like a spacer and it won't fit. So, but we'll at least put it next to it and see, kind of have an idea what they'll look like. But they're gonna be spares anyways, but they'll be on there eventually. All right, I didn't want to leave that on a dull note, um, depending on the weather. So um, I knew it'd be bright in the morning. So we were out here in the morning and looking at these things, and Jesus Christ, these things are so shiny. These look so damn. <laughs> you see that flicker? Whoosh, whoosh. I got the other one pressed up against the car. Oh my God. Get out of the shadow. Oh my God. These are gonna look so sick on the car. These are gonna look so sick on the car. Woo. <laughs> All right, now on that note, I think I'm uh, gonna call it a video now. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, definitely go to Flower Shop. Thank you, Ashton, for doing that. I'm not telling everybody to do Chrome. Um, he did say the Chrome might fade over time in the sun. Um, they're gonna be spare, so I mean, they're gonna be in the car or in the garage. Your whole car might even be in the garage again soon. So, um, 
yeah, they're hopefully they last a few events, but seeing those things, I'm, I can't wait to see those things like flicker in the sun. It's gonna look crazy. So, uh, but yeah, all the other colors they don't fade like that. It's just the chrome because the chrome is a base coat, it's supposed to be um, chrome base coat, and then something over top of it to make it shine like that. But uh, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, flower shop up in Covington, hit them up, tell them I sent you, and get you some powder coating done because these things, these things are sick. Deuces.